The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom introduces some incredible new abilities that transform Hyrule into a true sandbox. The Fuse ability in particular is one of the most fun new abilities to play around with since it allows Link to fuse any item that he can pick up to his weapons. Melee weapons can be fused with rocks, shields with mushrooms, and arrows with raw meat. Your imagination is the only limitation. Fused arrows turn Link's long distance damage dealing into a way for players to find some incredibly creative solutions to their problems. Here are the top 10 best arrow fusion combinations in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Take note that the fusions on this list are centered on use and utility rather than raw damage output. Number 10 raw meat arrows. Attaching raw meat to an arrow is not just a meme, it's actually incredibly useful in certain cases. Raw meat arrows can be fired into the center of a Bokoblin camp and the smell of the meat will attract the monsters towards it. This can be used as an effective tool to corral enemies together into a group so you can take them out more efficiently using an AoE attack or a large swinging melee weapon like a claymore. Number 9. Or Arrows Opal, Topaz, Ruby, and Sapphire. Precious stones, also called ores, are found in mines all across Hyrule, and players are sure to end up with plenty in their inventory after just a few hours of exploring. Although selling ore is an extremely profitable option thanks to their high value, they can also be fused with arrows to inflict substantial damage. Sapphire arrows can cause a massive AoE ice blast that frees any enemies in the radius. Topaz arrows deal electric damage, opal arrows deal water damage, and ruby arrows deal fire damage in an area of effect. Topaz and Sapphires are especially useful in certain scenarios as they can cripple entire groups of enemies in one go by freezing them solid or causing them to drop all of their weapons. Number 8. Time Bomb Arrows Time Bombs are essentially delayed bomb barrels but in Zonai form. Shooting a Time Bomb fused arrow in the middle of a group of enemies attracts the enemies to the point of impact and then the explosion will take care of things from there. While arrows that explode on impact are often a lot of players go to fusions, having a delayed explosion can be even more useful in certain situations, especially when dealing with unaware enemies. Number 7. Rocket Arrows A surprising fusion that goes frequently overlooked is the Rocket Arrow. A rocket fused arrow will fly much, much farther than a regular arrow in a complete straight line. In order to hit enemies that are really far away, like in the Kolgara boss fight, arrows that don't have any drop-off are extremely valuable. Even monster wing fused arrows don't fly as far as the rocket fused ones. The only downside to using rocket arrows is that they require precious Zonai rocket capsules in order to create, which are pretty valuable in the early game. Number 6. Key Swing Arrows Key Swings have gotten a boost in value in Tears of the Kingdom from their relatively useless nature in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If fused to an arrow, they fly further and drop off much later than regular arrows, making them a decent alternative to rocket arrows if you don't have any capsules on hand. Dropped from one of the easiest monsters to farm in the game, Key Swings are easy to obtain and you'll have plenty of them in your inventory if you're taking your time exploring Hyrule. Their real worth comes in the form of elemental Key Swings, electric, ice, and fire, since they fly farther than regular arrows and also deal elemental damage. Number 5. Puff Shroom Arrows Puff Shrooms are a type of mushroom in Tears of the Kingdom that release a cloud of white gas that blinds all enemies who stand in it. When fused with an arrow, the Puff Shroom will activate at the point of impact, creating a cloud of gas that persists for about 15 seconds before dissipating. You can chain multiple Puff Shrooms in the same area to prolong the effect on the field. Puff Shrooms are great for reclaiming the element of surprise after you've been spotted by a camp of enemies. They're also handy for getting out of the fight if you realize that you're far outmatched. Number 4. Dazzle Fruit Arrows Dazzle Fruits are a completely new addition to Hyrule in Tears of the Kingdom. When fused with an arrow, a Dazzle Fruit goes off like a flashbang at the point of impact, stunning any enemies caught in the dome of blinding light. While it can be used in a very similar way to the Puff Shroom arrows just listed, Dazzle Fruit arrows are best used on the offense. They can be used to stop a mob of monsters in their tracks, allowing Link to get some breathing room to think, and they're also useful against large, lumbering enemies to deal some uncontested damage after they're stunned. Number 3. Bomb Flower Arrows Bomb flowers can be fused to an arrow to convert it into a fully primed explosive barrel that ignites immediately on impact. They're fantastic for dealing AoE damage to a group of monsters in one go and can deal massive damage to bosses like Moldugas and Gleox. In addition to being useful in combat, bomb flower arrows can also be used to mine ore like Zionite in the depths. Bomb flowers are pretty commonly found in caves and on the ground in the depths, so getting a large amount of them to completely destroy the monster forces of Hyrule is pretty simple. Number 2. 
Muddlebud Arrows. Muddlebud Arrows are an incredible tool to deal with hordes of enemies that are clustered together. An arrow fused with Muddlebud will create a small pink cloud that confuses any enemy that's caught in them, causing them to start fighting one another. While the enemy AI can be a little wonky, a well-placed Muddlebud Arrow aimed at the strongest monster in a group can convert that monster into a killing machine that clears the camp for you. Take note, however, that the effects of a Muddlebud Arrow don't last forever, and after a little while, the monsters will come back to their senses and turn their focus back on you. So, it's best to have a few Muddlebud arrows handy when taking out larger encampments. Number one, Keese Eyeball Arrows. Keese Eyeballs are incredibly useful tools to land arrows on enemies that are harder to hit. When fused with an arrow, the Keese Eyeball adds a homing function so that it turns mid-air to target the enemy you were aiming at. You can use these eyeballs to ensure that you're consistently landing headshots for increased damage, which can make certain boss encounters such as several of the Master Koga and Gliok fights much easier. Like Keese Wings, Keese Eyeballs also come in elemental variants dealing fire, ice, and shock damage. It's like having two functions on one arrow. In Tears of the Kingdom, other monsters also have a chance of dropping their eyeballs which function exactly the same as Keese Eyes. However, they're much rarer than Keese Eyes, and there's an argument to be made that they're better served in elixir recipes than being fused to arrows. And that's our list for the best arrow fusions in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Did we miss your favorite fusion? Make sure to let us know in the comments below, and remember to like this video and subscribe to DualShockers for more Tears of the Kingdom content.